What it do, flight crew? FTC, flight team stand up. Fresh from a 1v1 dropping tomorrow AM on Friday. Hey, who won down below, me or the surprise person I'm playing? But we got the 2023 NBA All-Star. Starters have been revealed. You guys know the routine. They got the East to the West. We got the East. We're coming first. Let's see. Three starting spots. Yes. We are going to start with the captain. It is his third time as a captain. Giannis Antetokounmpo of the Milwaukee Bucks is your Eastern Conference captain. Now the other two. A, oh, we're not stopping. We're not going to stop. Okay, Kukpo is the captain this Let's year. See you can read. Jason Tatum of the Boston Celtics. Okay. And Kevin Durant of the Brooklyn Nets. Wow. All right. Oh. First up, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Seven. So who's the other captain? Star. Because I ain't gonna lie, it's too early in Tatum's career to be a captain of any representing anything in the NBA yet. I was like, hold on. Captain for the third time. He was the All Star MVP in 2021. He is fourth. Oh, obviously they're gonna pick one for the East and the West. So the West is Curry. It gotta be Curry for captain. Forty point games, and he also hit a career high 55 earlier this year against the Wizards. Jason Tatum. Tatum, okay. Games. He's been Yo, my man, Scotty Barnes, bro, better make this. The last two. Now he is a starter on his own accord. A career high in points, a career high in rebounds, a career high in assists, and Boston with the best record in the NBA. What? Like a lot of players, he's played 46 games They this got year. the best record. No rest for him. And Kevin Durant. Kevin. 13-time All-Star. Didn't play in the last two with injury, but he was a captain for both. Two yeah, you see the reaction? <laughs> just like me. He also had 20 games with two or more. I see KD make it well deserved. I hope he's able to play. And it looks like we're nearing him returning. Oh, nice. Person we're missing here, Joel Embiid of the Philadelphia 76ers. Well, it, it, it was just unfortunate. I mean, all four. No, you're not missing them. I'm actually, wow. He's obviously Embiid's going to probably still make it. He's going to be on a bench, though. But. Honestly, you know what I'm saying? Tatum should be on the bench and still make the All-Star team, but uh, Scotty Barnes should actually take his place right here. Because, um, I mean, you know, the Raptors are in the guys East. deserve to be starters, but you, like, you, you only have three positions. Yep. And Joel, Joel is playing as well as any person in the game right now. Yeah. Uh, but it, it's just a numbers game. But Joel is... Uh, so you're not mad at it? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm mad at not, that. Not, I, I'm mad at that. Why are you mad at it? Because that? I think five, six years ago, they took the center out of the game. And the center should always be in the game, no matter what. All his backcourt in front, but Joe Embiid is a center. He should be the starting center for the Eastern Conference, period. All those two and two front court, three back, nah, it ain't that. The center's it's back. Okay, now, I, I agree. Just now I'm thinking about it, too. Like, why is there only three as a starter and then the others as a bench? Like, it, that's weird. I thought it was just straight five. Two guards, a small four, power four, and a center. The big man. The big man should be kept on that battle, not not. No, not these new ones. So I definitely have a problem. He should be. Well, then, then one of those guys would not be on. Giannis. Doesn't matter. So I, I, I say, say tough one. I said no center. I'm not. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying he is. I'm just saying that if you notice, there is something that those three have in common. They've been to the NBA Finals or won the NBA Finals. So your popularity increases. So people vote when yeah, you get to the finals of it. So that could be the motivation. That could be not the motivation, but another motivation. Of, all right, so read these back to back. You guys are splitting these, or where's Kenny gonna? Yeah, I'll, I'll do one. He does. One. Okay, Kenny, you lead us off. Wait, that means there's room for guards, obviously too. Yeah, so it's two more. Coming in at one guard for the Eastern Conference, <laughs> six foot two and a half. I read the name. Kyrie <laughs> from the Brooklyn Nets. Kyrie. Kyrie! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! I'm not even gonna lie to you. That's a slap in the face. That man, Kyrie. You know what I'm saying? Despite all the drama that's been going on in the past, like, two or three years with Kyrie, still makes the starting point guard. That's a flex, and I'm loving it. I'm here for it, bro. Ooh. That just shows that, bro. That just shows who's... They, they said Donovan. No, sorry. Cavaliers. 
Donovan Mitchell. Hey, Donovan I like those. Mitchell. I like those. Okay, so I'm going to yeah. comment about the same. But, bro, that just shows that, you know what I'm saying? Bro, no, despite anything, skills always just don't come out on top. And skill, talent will never, ever be overlooked. Kyrie just Irving, keep applying pressure. This is his sixth as a starter. He was the MVP of the 2014 All-Star Game. Averaging 27, 5, and 5 the last four games. He's been unconscious. 36 and a half points, 8 assists, and shooting almost 50% from three and the Brooklyn Nets are currently fourth in the Eastern Conference. And Donovan wow, and Mitchell, Mitchell. We know very well about that 71 point game. Yes, this yeah, he had to be a starter, time. honestly. This is his first as a starter and of course first in the Eastern Conference. He really After scores 71, bro. 28.3 points per game. Cavs right now fifth in the East. Donovan Mitchell 71 was the most since Kobe's 81. Back in 2006, it is Kyrie, it is Donovan Mitchell, Shaq. Your thoughts of the East as you look back at the rough. The East don't got no height, bro, or the weight. A Kukpo is really, like, bro, I can kind of almost bench press as much as a Kukpo, bro. Like, it's like they're almost a 2K rec center team, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, they have straight guards and just a small forward that's like a demigod. Kevin bro, the West got to win, especially they got the right starters. We got to wait to the starters of the West, bro. Of Donovan Mitchell, I've, 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 up here, I've probably been the hardest one on him. And I know he doesn't understand this, but I play with a lot of dynamic guards, and it's the same way I made them better. I talk to them the same way. So you're times, welcome is what you're saying? No, I'm not saying that. Okay. They, you know, they're, 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 <laughs> that man cut Shaq off but, like crazy. You know, when you're a, 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 a person and you're, you're trying to motivate somebody to get to the next level, your style is your style. My style was always hard and was, and, and, you know, tough. So a lot of people, when, when, when Chuck, I, and Kenny speak, they don't understand we're coming from a place of love and coming from a place to get your game better. So, but he, look, playing great, new start. I'm, I'm proud of him. You know, great job, Donovan. Yeah, he, he um, is one of the most unique players in the game today um, because of his size. I think he's probably only 6'2". Um, or six three at most, um, but his physicality, his ability to get into the rim, uh, and it, it, probably the biggest thing that's improved in the last two years is his passing and his three point shot. Mm. Like his three point shot, he can be in a three point contest. The way he shoots the ball, um, he rivals guys who are, are known as marksmen in terms of three points. So his improvement has been in those two areas. Pass one. Yeah, six one, six one. Yeah, I, I, I was six I, one. I, yeah, he's yeah he's. Six, but he plays five, above the rim six, consistently. Six, no, he six, plays five. Five. He's like I, he's, I say six two. I, I know I was like tall, same size or tall. Any guy a six one. Yeah, I know. I, like Kyrie's a, played thirty six games. Donovan Mitchell forty one. Yeah, you know the that, that like I said, the only problem I had with um, Zion is he's missed twenty games. Oh, I just realized Zion. Hold on now, no, 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 bro. This is why I'm glad I listened all the way through because it's like it brings up names I be forgetting, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. I'm putting Zeon, bro, in front of Tatum. Facts, facts, hundred percent facts. Now thinking about this and looking at everything now, Zeon deserves to be a starter, bro, in front of Tatum or Kukpo. If you have basketball knowledge, you're not taking out a Kukpo, so Tatum, go sit on the bench, bro. Zeon should be starting. No. This is just a hype beast and D-riding at his finest, man. Tatum deserves, obviously, to be in an all-star game, but because Zeon is literally on the... I, can't, I, think, I keep thinking the Pelicans are on the West. That's crazy. Nah, man. Like, Tatum should be on the bench, bro. Definitely. 105%. And then that worst of worst, as much as I would hate to say it, if you don't want to... Because you're not going to take a Kukpo out of that starting line. KD. But I'm going with Tate because I'd rather have KD start and Kyrie start. You know what I'm saying? Same time. Dang. That, bro, it'll be way more exciting to have Zion. He's the athletic. He's literally the all-star type of a player. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, Tatum, if, if, bro, he can't East Bay dunk. This defines players that are really real-time all-stars. If you're able to do an East Bay dunk, especially in a game, you know what I'm saying? I don't think, I don't remember if Zion did it in a game or not, but I, you know, everybody knows he can East Bay dunk. Tatum can't definitely do that. You can pay this man 50 gazillion dollars. He's not going to be able to do it in a mini tries. You know what I'm saying? That really shows that you're an all-star. Like the only problem I have with Dang. Um, Zion is he's missed 20 games. That don't mean nothing. That's a lot. Out of 49. Yeah, that's a lot to miss. Would you have gone Sabonis? Uh, yes. Who was the, th who was the next person that votes? 
I go with Devon. Well, I, I, I don't I'll go with Devon. I'll have those Devo. stats I, after. I, I, but that's with, with no, I don't have to no, I'm not, no. That, that's all the votes is a popular contest. Okay, okay. so here's the uh, West now. TV, I see that. Yes, That's yeah. next week with the results. All right, obviously Curry's got to oh, be so the captain and the starter. We're not going to get bullied here, Lord. Here you go, Kenny. Because you're wearing this about. All right, I just got bullied. How many envelopes you got? Four. 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 Okay, so I'm going to get some more. 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 I'm Yes. Oh my goodness. What did I do? Yes. Uh, that camera right there. Yes. The captain. He's 96 years old. He's going to become the all time leading scorer soon. LeBron James. Wow. LeBron James is ninth. Bro, not for captain, bro. How we out to Curry? Yo. I thought they were joking about like Curry or something, man. All right, whatever. As long as Curry gonna be starting, which he would. It is a new record for the amount of All Star games played in. A three-time All Star MVP. It's his sixth time as a captain. He is six and zero as a captain. But obviously, LeBron is a All Star starter, undeniable. I'm saying as far as captain, bro. Curry represents the NBA, bro. He's the face of everything basketball related. All Star appearances. LeBron James. What a career, Kenneth. Yeah, LeBron. Yeah, unbelievable career. The most astounding part is longevity. And not longevity in terms of the, um, the the length of time that he's playing at that level. Quality of play. You, you, you could say that, you know, you, the debate about who's had a better 10 years run or championships. But no one has played as great as he is playing at this age. At this age, it's no, there's no, no one in the world has ever done that. He is the freak of freaks. Mm. Uh, he is the, uh, he's the model. King. Yo, hold on, it's just process. He said, what a what? He's the model citizen outside of basketball. If you want to figure out how to handle yourself outside of basketball, Look at Curry. you watch what he's done over 20 years. There's never been a negative thing mm. about his family, his personal life, other than he made a decision that. on TV that people didn't agree with. That's it. The guy off the court is the model person. Yeah, I've said this. Two things I want to say. Can we give a shout out to Kareem Abdul Jabbar? Sure. Like, to have this record, uh, you know, he didn't shoot threes. LeBron shoots threes. To be that, I, I just think that when we, we don't appreciate how great he was. I mean, I mean, obviously LeBron is going to break the record at some point, but this should be a reflection on how great Kareem was. True. What he accomplished. You know, you talk about, championships in the NBA. You talk about all championships in college and things like that. So shout out to the great Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. But I want to pick it back on something that Kenneth said. I've said, I think LeBron James is the greatest basketball story ever. Maybe in sports, to be honest with you, because he's the only guy, because as great as Kobe Bryant was and Kevin Garnett. Yo, um, I'm not even Green, like trying to Dwight like start Hyman, anything, guys. bro. These guys, bro, 10 minutes about one player is crazy. Get on the Curry, man. They all kind of Get on the Curry, game. man. Yes. That's, he has 19. Bro, the video's stars. almost he over. Really this is the longest speech. He played good his rookie Absolutely. year. Absolutely. And to go, did, to be the guy from day one with all the pressure and expectations, and to, I've said this publicly, so to never get in trouble in today's society where everybody's out to get you at this yeah. level, it's the greatest sports story of all time. So congratulations to him when he breaks the record. Model citizen, I can remember first watching him in high school, uh, riding in Cleveland, one of my fraternity brothers, and you got to watch his kid play. And I, of course, I knew he was going to be in the league, but, you know, he's the way he has played, uh, his longevity, uh, you know, how, how he's done it. Yeah. Liked by everyone, loved by everyone, and he will pass the record at some point. And... I, I must have to say, I, I'm professionally jealous. I would like to be at, at this point. You know, I've always said. Wow, Shaq. I've always said if I would have passed Wilt Chamberlain in points, I would have arrogantly said, 
I'm the most dominant big man ever. So I would like to be at this point right now to where I'm the okay. yeah. lead so, scorer you're not, and the lead kids. You're not Ben Kareem. Right. But, 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 but I pass you up. Let's get Ricky to announce the rest. Bro, they spent 20 minutes on one guy. Okay, I need one of you to read, read pause, and then the other one reads. Okay, okay. so back to back. Kenny, okay, you go first. first. The first person. Wow, this is a surprise, ladies and gentlemen. It's not a surprise. However, Zion Williams. Wow. Oh! Who do you have? Nikola Jokic. The two times. Wait, I thought the. Why were they talking about Zion in the East, though? I th it, 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 so that speech I made earlier was. It, Pelicans are on the West now. They just they transferred from the East to the West throughout this video. I ain't I, I'm mad, I ain't mad at it, but I'm loving it. I was like, whoa! I thought it was gonna be Curry NBA first. Champion, the Joker. Well, All right, let's do the, uh, the surprise the first. An MVP it is no, I love to see Zion in that best. Star for Zion Williamson. This will be his first as a starter. He's averaging twenty-six point seven. So the Pelicans transfer from the east to the west, bro. Assists. The Pelicans right now fourth in the west. He has missed. 12 straight games, but when he has played, Zion... Bro, he's going to go special. off in this uh, All-Star, bro. A starter for the West. And, of course, back-to-back -back MVP, Nikola Jokic. Four-time All-Star. This will be this is fifth-time All-Star. Third straight start. Averaging 25-11 and a career-high 9.9 .9 assists. His 15 triple-doubles leads the NBA. And the Denver Nuggets at 34-15 and 15 are the number one seed in the West. Western Conference. Wow. But the story there for me, Zion Where are the rest? Where's Curry at, bro? Oh, they the call it guards last. Yeah, it's like last time, uh, huh? The numbers that you read are, are all star starter numbers. Um, however, you know, if he played in these last 12 games, I don't think you, you would have wowed or we would have right. wowed at, at him being named the starter. Well, I have a problem with it. That's it. I didn't. That's the only problem. He I missed too many right. games. That's it. That's what. Yeah. I mean, how many games has he missed? Twelve. Last twelve straight. Shut up. But he missed them before missed then too. Yeah. How many games has he missed, Mike? I yeah. mean, I, I, I was in this position a couple times when I missed games. I was still named the yeah, All Star, so I'm not going to get. Do you want the guards? Yeah, I'm going to do the guards. Yeah, I started. So congratulations, Zion. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations to him, but. How many games has he missed? Yeah, just answer the question. Damn, man, you stop hating, bro. It don't matter about how many games he missed. He's performing at an expectation way above what everybody was thinking of when I've been said that he was, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, these dudes, these old heads were sitting there glazing somebody for 10 minutes and then want to bring down somebody else because they, you know what I'm saying, couldn't could never be as athletic and dominant and just skillful as Zeon, bro. Bro, Zion is light years ahead of Charles Barkley, bro. Like, no cap. Like, come on, stop playing with him. All right. My favorite Gosh. player in the world, Steph oh, yeah. Curry. Steph Curry! Woo! And then Donnicky. His ninth All Star, his ninth yes. as a starter. This is such a great look, man. I want to pull it and like sneak in for like the snub or like play. I would like to see them in there. 29, 6 and 6, 18 30 point games. The Warriors right now 18, excuse me, 8 in the West. But Curry, now a nine time All Star. And Luka Doncic, his fourth All Star. He is just 23 years old. He is now a three time starter. He leads the NBA with a career high yeah, he's points me. per game. He leads the NBA in 20 point games, 30 point games, 40 point games, and 50 point games. He had that 60 21 and 10 game against the Knicks, and he is second in triple doubles. Curry and Luca, your two favorite players. You definitely can't be mad at this pick. Uh, two of the the West gonna win it, bro. Who y'all got in the West. comments, man? Who West. winning the All-Star? The, the All West or the are, East? East or the West? We celebrate the greatest players in the league, but it's also a show. People pay a lot of money for us to put on the show. So those two guys in the backcourt shooting from way behind the arch are definitely Ooh. a good show. Curry don't make the three, four quarter shot also green. Facts calling it now. Hey, man, can't wait till this is out. Uh, it's crazy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. I thought they said they was going to pick them, though. Like the day of the game, that was weird. Who said that? And that was somewhere literally like on like the internet where I seen that on. How are they going to end up? Okay, so no, these people make the All-Star game and then the captains choose basically when the All-Star game happens from the uh, All-Stars that was picked out. During. Okay, so now, okay, I guess it makes sense, but it's still confusing at the same time.